Alright you guys, so we're actually heading over to the Goodwill really quick and then I also want to go to the grocery because mom wants me to pick up some French bread for dinner. So let's go do that and I also got to hit up the, um, what is that thing over there, the mailbox. That's where we need to go to. So let's go do that and yeah, see you guys at the Goodwill. Alright you guys, we just got to the Goodwill. Super excited. I did forget that today was Friday though and yesterday was this particular store. Um, every Thursday, the color of the week is a dollar. So usually Friday, there's like nothing left in the store. So <laughs> let's see what we can find today. Alright you guys, I just found like this pretty cute fabric case bid. But it's $34. And the straps are very bajiggity so... We're gonna pass on this one, even though the rest of the bag is actually in pretty good condition, but these straps are a hot mess. Really. Yeah. It's cute though, but 34? Maybe if it was less, I could take a chance on trying to repair it. This looks like a Celine, like a Phantom. No label. Alright you guys, I just found this coach bag, but it's $24, a little pricey. It's not in the worst condition, just needs a lot of cleaning and conditioning, and then just cut off like the little frayed ends. I don't know, it's not my favorite, like, I do like totes, but it's kind of on the smaller side, so I think I might pass because it's so expensive, but let's see what else we can find. Okay, let me start off by saying also that the music today in the store is really good. <laughs> but I'm checking through the knickknacks and seeing, is this a seahorse? I think part of its tail got ripped off. But I'm looking through here, seeing what they have. Oh, this little elephant is pretty cute. Look at this his and hers mug set. They didn't even open it. <laughs> but for $4.99. Ooh, shoes. This is a cute mug, actually. 99 cents. Olympic Games, Lake Placid from 1980. Oh, this mug is older than I am. This is a cute color. I like the blue of this mug. Um, don't see anything. Starbucks or... Like we say, Pottery Barn. I thought this was Pampered Chef, but it's not a Pampered Chef piece. I do like the oversized mug. Oh, is this a marble slab? Two ninety nine. Oh, hot dog. I love these. I set them on my bookshelves. I think I'm gonna get this. It's only two ninety nine. Um, let's see what else we have here. A rolling pin. I have a million of those at the house already. Though don't need that. And I don't see anything else here in the bakeware. I found this, um, I thought this was a, uh, what's her name? Sorry, that was a really loud speaker, but I thought this was, um, Rachel Ray, but it's actually Crane Barrel, $4.99, and I really like the color, but it's a little expensive, but, um, I was also looking at this cool, like, pot type of deal, and it's $4.99, it's Royal Barrel Ware, England. Kind of cool. I wish it was like blue or white or gray. It's like reddish brown. Might be good for fall though. All right, I want to do a quick haul for you guys. So I got this pouch by Thursday Friday. I love Thursday Friday stuff. Their prints are like amazing quality. And this is the first time I think that I found a pouch. So I'm really excited. And it's brand new, still has tags. And it was only $3.99. And then I got. Of course, I had to get this Marvel slab. It was only $2.99. Really excited, so now I'm gonna head over to the grocery store. I'm at Albertsons now. You can't even see it because it's like so backlit, but the sky is like really amazing looking right now. Just got back to the car and I'm so excited because they had super fresh French bread. It's so warm, it's like literally brand new. They just brought it out, so home we go. You guys I had to bring you outside to show you how beautiful the sky is. Oh, it's gorgeous. 
Let me pan back. Mom is back here trying to take pictures on her phone. But it is so beautiful. Look at that. So we just had dinner and it is nighttime. Everyone has gone up, retired for the evening. And I was cleaning up the kitchen, have everything put away finally. And I want to switch up the decor a little bit. Plus I want to water a couple plants. Um, a couple of them, like at least once or twice a week, I could like take them out of their pots and then put them in the sink and then water them and then just let the water drain out. And these are the water, like the plants that really like water. So I just want to make sure to do that because sometimes you don't water them enough or I don't know. So I just, I'm always cautious. Um, this is probably why I cannot keep uh, cacti alive because whenever I have any, I just want to do the same thing and I don't think that's good for them. Um, but <laughs> I try to err on the side of caution when it comes to some of my plants because I'm obsessed with them and I want them to live long, healthy lives. I'm already really sad for this one because um, I left it out in the sun for like one day and it was a really hot day and then he got like some sun damage and I'm trying to bring him back to life. Like he's not like dying, but he's a little, he has a little, he has a couple owies. We'll just say that. So anyway, I wanted to change up some of the decor just a little bit. I really want to put my fall leaves on the dining table and make it a little bit more festive and switch out some of the decor and make it look more fall since Thanksgiving is coming up. So I did change like all these pillows already before. I'm going to keep them. I'm just going to change the, um, the decor just a little bit and then uh, show you guys how I'll transform the room, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm so happy that some of you guys actually really like the decor stuff, which makes me really happy because I love it so much. So, I feel like I haven't talked about this guy for a while. So I did get this particular piece, um, this driftwood from the potting shed. I love that store so much. If you guys are in Southern California in Orange, you guys have to visit Jack over there he's amazing and he has the most amazing stuff inside his shop um most of these candlestick holders i thrifted from the goodwill and almost all of these candles are also thrifted from the goodwill they're all battery powered cannot have regular flame candles here especially somewhere where the kids can get them because they'll probably touch the fire so i think i want to change up that space right there i might change this I think I'm going to change that and then the table. So let's get to it. I'll show you guys the progress as I go along and hopefully you guys like it. Let me down in the comments below. Now I've got my candles all set up right here. I'm probably not going to keep all of them like this little guy. He doesn't need to really be there. But if you wanted to go more minimalistic, obviously you can <laughs> remove some of these. Um, I kind of want to have something a little bit more dramatic, I think, but it really depends on your preference. I know um, sometimes my decor drives some of you guys nuts because there's so much stuff. Some of you guys really like it, some of you don't care. Um, but so you can just leave it like this if you wanted. Um, you can definitely subtract. You can definitely add more if you want. You can move them closer together. Um, I kind of just want them in the center. And so, like this, you can leave this kind of like that all year if you wanted to. It doesn't have any sort of um, really like seasonal connotations to it. Uh, but if you string the garland through it, it'll make it look more fall. So. Um, that's what I'm going to do right now. I, mean, I just have these two garlands right here. I also have some of this fake corn that I might put in as well. So these, my goodness, I don't even remember a time where we didn't have these leaves. I've had them for the longest time. But they are totally amazing. I am completely obsessed with them. And I'm having a hard time doing this one-handed. So I'll get back to you guys and show you guys how it looks. And yeah, so we pray it back. Also, a quick 
I'll story. <laughs> but a quick little um, tip also is that a lot of the times when you get these garlands like this, um, there is kind of like a direction that the leaves or whatever go to. And it's very easy to like manipulate them and move them around. Um, but there's kind of like an end and like a top. So this is like the top end and it has like the leaves that go all the way up. So this is like the top. This is the bottom. Leave the tops at the ends so that you don't get like the stem sticking out. And this is kind of what I think I will leave the final product for how this is going to look. I might judge it up a little bit. But so just adding these two garlands really makes a world of a difference. And I'm just going to like keep moving them around and but I'm, I'm kind of pleased with how it looks so far. Um, I feel like I just need a little bit more movement, but it's pretty good so far, I think. Uh, I want to see how it looks now with the corn. I might just not add it. I think I kind of just like the simplicity of the leaves, but let me show you like the different dimensions for how it looks. So this is kind of like how it looks from this side of the room. And when you do like something like this, you always have to take into account all the different sides um, and take that out. Wasn't really paying attention to the back. So I think I need to regroup and then just judge it up a little bit more and make sure that both sides are accounted for because you want both sides to look good. That is unless this is like only one side is going to be seen like it's on a mantle, then that would be totally fine. But yeah, so. I didn't even pay attention to what I was doing. All right, you guys, crisis averted. Um, I was able to fix up that side. So let's take a look from this angle. Yes, you can see like a hint of the scattering of the leaves. And then this side, which kind of looks like kind of like a little explosion of leaves, I think. I think I need to like tone it down just a tad. Now the reason like the in like this middle part looks really intense, that's because that's what the two connect so I was kind of going for like a thicker more um, dense grouping in the middle and then it kind of fizzles out towards the end um, I'm hoping that I think I kind of achieved that just gotta these branches are like starting to fly <laughs> they're like floating okay so yeah I think I'm happy with this let me try some of the um, these guys and see if I can fill it out a little bit more with these. Okay, now that I got them out of the bag, now I believe these are actual um, dried pieces of corn. So these are like the dried kernels and everything. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, so I'm just gonna use these very methodically and try and um, fill in some of like the gaps that I have in terms of like not having any leaves in some of the parts and try to mix them up just a tad bit probably need something more leafy right there all right well we're gonna figure this out and then i'll get back to you guys Okay, I kind of like them, um, but I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna leave them for now. Uh, but, so I have just like a sprinkling of them inside and just distributed them throughout evenly. And I think it just gives it a little bit more dimension. Though, I don't know. I feel like it's still a little bit of a hot mess right here in the middle. I think I definitely wanna do something to um, clean that up a little bit, but I'm just going nuts, I think, with this. But I really love these leaves. Um, the You can actually put them inside of a hurricane. And I actually have two right here. I used to put them in these. Right at the top, those two hurricanes. I used to like swirl them around and then have the candle in the middle. And they look really fantastic, too. And I don't think I'm going to do it this year because I wanted, I definitely wanted something more dramatic for the table, I think, 
for Thanksgiving. Um, I don't even know if this is gonna be here for Thanksgiving, if we're gonna use the table for food, or if we're gonna be eating outside, or I don't know. So I just wanted something a little festive, you know, for the time being. And I'm definitely gonna change out the flowers there. I know these flowers have been here since we even moved, like since we moved, this was like, that was one of the first things they had in the house. And I think I'm gonna change it out because it doesn't really go with this. So let me find something to switch out. Um, for that spot and then I'll be right back. You know, it's growing on me. I kind of like it like this, right? Do you guys like it? Yes, give me a thumbs up. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy this little um, Thing I put together. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of shopping the house and trying to figure out what I want to put there um, These branches totally like go with the color and everything um, But I feel like it doesn't have enough impact. It's not full enough and it just looks like really like sparse and then this looks pretty full so i feel like i just need to have something like balance right there to have enough fullness so i don't know i might find some branches to put together with that or i might find some like like branches with like leaves on it like this um i am not too sure but i think i'm just gonna leave this there for now or put the other one back or try some other things we'll see all right you guys so I took out the driftwood that was over there with all the candles that I removed and put on the dining table and I put those guys there that used to be right here on this table. I don't know how I feel about it as of yet. I'm still kind of processing it and then I don't really know how I feel about this either. I feel like it looks... I feel like maybe I should move that over here or switch it up. I don't know. I think I'm going to do a little something, though, to switch it up a little bit. Uh, but, I don't know. I just like changing up the decor, even though it's pretty much the same stuff. But when you move it around, it really feels new and fresh. Though, yeah, these definitely need to move. I think I'm going to move them over there and put... Yeah, I'll just show you guys what I'm going to do. Uh, but... Also, those orchids, I think I'm going to put them on the ottoman. And, yeah, this is just, like, plant central. So many plants right there. So I think I definitely need to change that a little bit, too. All right, you guys. So this is how it's coming out so far. I have the horse there. I flanked the two plants next to it. I put that guy back there. And then over there, I have moved the orchids and then the other items that were there before. I don't know. I kind of like it. Um... I kind of like the height that it creates right there without blocking too much. And I don't know, I just like the height there, I think. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> I always do this, I'm just like so, I just like keep moving everything around and then I'm just gonna sleep on it and see how I feel in the morning. Um, I have this guy still right here. I think I might actually put him outside. I think he might look cool on the island because there's nothing on there right now. But I'll do that tomorrow in the morning when I get up. And then over there, I just have uh, my, my branches and then my garland with the leaves and the candles. Um, I don't know, I kind of like... Like, honest, like if I didn't have anything, I just had that and then removed everything on here or had something really simple right there, I think it would be really cool. Like, I love that minimalistic look. Like, I love that kind of look, but it just doesn't fit with, like, all my other stuff. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. I'm just blabbing on. <laughs> it's late. I'm going to get to sleep, though. So, I will show you guys um, everything once... I kind of like finalize it all and yeah that's how it's looking man it's looking really sparse over there I honestly kind of miss all my plants that were over there but mom didn't like it a lot of you guys also didn't like it but then a lot of you guys also liked it and then I kind of enjoyed it as well um I don't know it was like a little garden over there. But now I have like all my plants outside. And then this guy, I have no clue really where I think I want to put him. But oh, it's so pretty. This is like the plant of my dreams. I've been wanting a one star plant forever. And now that I have one, I don't know where to put him. I kind of just put him right there. I brought the kids table back inside. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I'm just like a hot mess right now. 
So I'm gonna get going. I need to take photos of pan bags actually because I wanted to do a sale um, in the next few days for you guys because uh, a lot of you have been asking about um, handbags and stuff and I've just been so all over the place just like um, Chris or Christmas. <laughs> Um, Halloween was just a few days ago and then now Thanksgiving is just around the corner and I want to do like so much stuff to the house and then I have all my other work that I have to do and then yeah so it just piles up but it's fun this time of the year is so much fun this time last year I was actually packing up the house because we were moving so it was just yeah this is actually so much easier compared to last year because last year it was just like non-stop packing. Um, we were doing showings at the house because we were selling the old house. And then now that we're here, I'm so happy. And I'm just having the time of my life just decorating everything incessantly because I just love doing that so much. And I'm gonna get to photographing my handbags. So I'll see you guys in the morning though. Also, I gave this guy a little bath. He was a little dusty, so bathed him. I'm just gonna leave him here overnight so he can dry up. And then I'll put them back in the morning. Yay! Quick side note, this guy ended up right here. Right there. I'm also checking out the plates on this side of the wall. <gasps> oh, what is this? How fun. It's very Christmassy, $2.99. Colonial Homestead by Royal. I thought it was gonna be like a Royal Dalton. This is pretty. This is like a fun like Christmas platter like for cookies or something. $2.99 isn't too bad. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it. What do you guys 